A housing market crash had to be one of the top, most trending topics in fear-mongering media of 2023, but instead, the housing values actually increased yet again, coming off a record-setting year in 2022. And if we look back recent history, many buyers had similar fears and reservations in regard to the housing market that kept them on the sidelines in 2020. And it would seem as though many of them now wish that they could turn back time. Did the total volume of real estate transactions plummet? Absolutely. But we're going to talk about that as well as some of my predictions for the real estate market in 2024 right here in St. George, Utah, and how you can navigate it as a buyer, seller, or investor. All right. Let's jump right into it. In October of 2023, mortgage rates were up to 8%, the highest they have been in recent history. That naturally brought the market to a near halt, uh, dropping overall volume of real estate transactions. By Q4 of 2023, we saw mortgage rates at 6.67%. So the Real question here is what can we reasonably expect in 2024? My opinion is that by the end of Q1 of 2024, we're going to see a blended rate at around six and a half percent. And it is fair to expect sixes by Q3 of 2024. And I think we may even finish the year in high fives. So what do the improved mortgage rates mean in terms of affordability. Now, affordability is something that was commonly discussed in the media. And for the right reason, U.S. average home price in 2023 was at 364000 And with 8% mortgage rate, it made that payment just too unattainable for a lot of Americans. Things looked a little bit worse in Southern Utah. Average home in St. George was priced at 502000 so as of October of 2023, average mortgage payment in St. George at 8% rate would be $2,946. If we look at the average blended rate uh, that is projected for 2024, that payment would be just $2,505 at blended rate of 6.375%, which is about a $400 a month savings. And I do firmly believe that this will have a direct impact on demand. So what will the improved mortgage rates do to the demand? In 2023, we saw an increase in mortgage applications all throughout the holiday season, which is a little bit abnormal. But towards the end of 2023, we saw an increase in mortgage applications just as soon as the rates got a little bit better. So we finished 2023 at about 1.5 trillion total mortgage applications. With that being said, as the mortgage rates get better in 2024, I believe that we will finish 2024 at about 1.9 trillion mortgage applications. I also think that going into 2025, the mortgage rates will continue to stay where they're at, but the demand will continue to increase so it is fair to expect about 2.3 trillion mortgage applications by 2025. So what does the increased demand do to the home sales? In 2023, we saw a total of about 4.6 million sales from a national perspective. I think that given better economic conditions and better access to money. It is fair to expect about 5 million sales in 2024, and this demand will continue into 2025. So I predict that we'll see about 5.5 million sales in 2025. Here's what it looks like right here in Washington County. In 2023, we saw a total of 3,796 home sales. In 2024, I predict that that number will be around 4,200. And by 2025, we may see about 5,000 home sales that year. Okay, so let's talk about <clears throat> what this demand will do to the home prices. Now, this is the slide where I get to prove everybody wrong that was talking about prices crashing in 2023, because as we can see in 2023, 
an average US home price was a 364,000, which is about a four and a half increase from 2022. Now, I believe that in 2024, we will continue to see that appreciation. And I'm going to say that we can expect about another three and a half percent increase in home values based on decreased supply and increased demand. So Fannie Mae and Paul Snomics uh, conducted a home price expectations survey and a panel of economists. What's interesting is the most optimistic group is forecasting that home prices in the US will increase by nearly 40% by 2028. And even the most pessimistic group is forecasting that the home prices will increase by at least 10%. So nobody is forecasting a crash in value or any sort of decrease in home prices. So as you can see, there is absolutely zero data supporting any wild narrative of a housing market crash in 2024. In fact, there is an entire panel of economists that agrees as the most pessimistic outcome, we'll see a 10% home appreciation in the US by 2028. With that being said, I forecast that we'll see another 3.5% lift from a national perspective in 2024. So what does that look like in Washington County? Now, a lot of people think that Southern Utah is in a little bubble and it's not affected by the home values in other states. And as a result of higher mortgage rates in 2023, we actually saw a decrease in home values, nearly a 9% decrease um, in 2023, making it just 502,000. But also our market is so tied to other markets because a lot of people are relocating here because they're able to work remotely or perhaps they're retiring. The overall state of economy and receiving fewer proceeds in other markets slowed down our growth from a price perspective in 2023. However, increased demand and decreased inventory is likely to result in about a 5% lift in home values in 2024. So I think we will see about 523,000 as a median sale price in 2024. So how long can you expect for your home to sit on a market in 2024 as a seller right here in Washington County? Well, if we look at the numbers from 2023, it actually looks like combined days on a market had increased because of higher mortgage rates and a fall in demand. Naturally so. So we saw about 39 days on a market on average in 2023 right here in St. George and in Washington County. I think that based on improved mortgage rates and higher demand and lower availability, we're going to see about 30 days on a market. 30 days, meaning that the properties will come on and off the market faster and multiple properties will likely sell with multiple offers depending on the price range. And I will make a separate video to address that, but I think it is fair for the sellers to expect for their homes to sell faster on average in Washington County. If your home is in great condition, it shows well, it's in a desirable area, it is likely to sell faster than it would have in 2023. So what will that do to the inventory? I believe that 2024 is going to be a seller's market. In 2023, we had a total of 6,849 active listings. I think that in 2024, we will see a slight increase in inventory, but also a much larger demand. So that will put us at about four months of supply. And four months of supply means that we will be in a strong seller's market. Um, we need about five to six months of supply in order for us to even be in a neutral market. And given all of the indicators that we have at hand, I just do not see that happening in 2024 or possibly in even 2025, as I think the mortgage rates will continue to hold or possibly improve 
making it easier for buyers to have access. Folks, these are my thoughts on the future of real estate market in 2024, right here in St. George, Utah. I'm curious to know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you have other opinions? Drop them in the comments below. I would like to start a conversation in the comments thread and see what everybody across the nation is thinking. Now, before I leave you, I want to touch on one more thing. There are several markets in the United States where real estate agents in 2023 closed like over 49% of all agents closed less than one transaction. And that is devastating for them. I want for everybody to do well, but I would say right now, if you're thinking about buying or selling your home right here in St. George or anywhere else in the country, experience and agents ability to deliver professionalism at the highest level is more important than ever. I don't anticipate the 2024 real estate market is going to be easy for buyers, sellers, or real estate agents. I feel that we're going to see a bit of frenzy that we experienced in 2020, but perhaps at a more balanced level. And with that being said, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate right here in Washington County, or for that matter, even anywhere else outside of Washington County, we have business partners in all 50 states that match our level of expertise and our level of approach to business. They execute at a high level, similar to the way we perform right here in Washington County. Just reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text. I would love to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.